Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Steve Zabawa, Z-A-B-A-W-A, -A -A from Billings, Montana. Uh, I want to thank all the senators and representatives for going through this grueling process. It's uh, it's gut-wrenching. It's amazing what you've come up with uh, from all the different angles, and including our city councils and our mayors and counties and uh, everybody that's been putting all this hard time into it. Uh, I'm an uh, opponent to uh, regulating medical marijuana. Uh, and I come from a simpleton standpoint. Uh, pot is illegal. You can't regulate something that's illegal. I mean, I don't know if we really understand what we're getting ourselves into. The feds just came in and took cash out of people's businesses, closed down facilities, and took people's lives and, and jeopardized everything that they've been doing for the last year and a half. We have given people the impression that this is legal. We are giving out medicine to people that we don't know is good for them or bad. Nothing's documented. The FDA has not come out and said, this is good for our citizens of Montana. So we really have to think hard about what we're doing here as far as the regulation. I appreciate uh, Senator Espen's difficult uh, chore and uh, Senator Sir, uh, Representative Smith and all the time and effort that's been put into this. But at the end of the day, all the committees, all the houses, all the senates, all the city councils come up with the same conclusion. As the majority of Montanas have put out in all the recent polls, and that is to repeal medical marijuana. So I think we have to keep this simple. Now, go talk to the moms with children in schools. What, what's their number one thing? That's the super majority, and those ladies do not want this medical marijuana in the state of Montana. So I don't know if you guys want to be on the wrong side of a mom, but it isn't good. I've been there, and I, I never want to be there again. And now let's, let's go back to one other thing, too. Uh, everybody keeps hanging their hat, including the governor, on that this is an, a voter initiative. I voted for this and it did not come out the way I voted for it at all. It's not even close. Now, it's so far out, it's in right field, left field, whatever you want to call it. 87% of the repealers that have voted, which is the majority of Montanas, don't care if it's a voter initiative or a legislative initiative. They want it gone. This has been a huge catastrophe in Montana. It's been a big black eye. We need to get rid of it. We need to move on with life. And yes, there still will be marijuana on the streets in Montana, but we can't be representing that we as Montanans are pushers and providers of an illegal, illegal drug. It's not right. You know, it's illegal. We're going to get arrested. The state of Montana is going to get arrested. I don't know if you guys understand that. That's the next move by the feds. Think about it. It isn't right. Uh, and everybody here has already put in senators, uh, the House Bill 161. It's on the governor's desk. My suggestion is for everybody to call the governor and explain to him that what the majority of Montanas want, which is repeal of medical marijuana. So safe communities, safe kids, and I, I, that's what I'm in favor of. So thank you for your time.